Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. In this video, we're going to look at a problem uh, for the domain and range from the graph of a discrete function. Uh, so again, we're trying to identify the domain and range. So the first thing that you, I would suggest is that you label the ordered pairs. Uh, so this point at the bottom here, bottom left, we have negative three, go to the three, left three times. So the X is negative three and then down three, so that ordered pair is negative three, three. And then the point up in the uh, this second quadrant here, we have negative two, go up four. So that ordered pair is negative two, four. Uh, the point right beside it, we don't go left or right from the origin, so the X is zero, but we go up four, so the Y coordinate is four. And then in the fourth quadrant here, we go to the right, four and down, two so four uh, negative two so again your domain would consist of uh, your x coordinates or your first elements in the ordered pair so we have negative two negative three zero and four and it doesn't matter which order you put those in uh, doesn't matter the order you may want to put them in numerical order that's up to you so just the first element in each ordered pair uh, would represent your domain your domain and let's see here the range would be the y coordinates in this case so for the y coordinates we have negative um, three negative two four and four So the y values, we have negative 3, negative 2, 4, and the 4 is listed twice, but remember we only have to show it once when we're listing our range out like that. And that's all you do. Label your ordered pairs and then identify your domain by writing the first elements of each of your ordered pair in one group. Identify your range will be the second element of the ordered pairs in one group. And that's how you work it. Uh, nothing else to that. Hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.